The Jurassic period is famous for the huge animals that stalked the Earth. Stegosaurus, Brontosaurus, and even Supersaurus. But in the Jurassic, sea creatures were enormous too, including a crocodile that was bigger than the biggest killer whale. Even the shellfish were huge. And in Te Papa, we have the biggest shellfish ever found in New Zealand, a giant ammonite. This is a pretty massive shell. I imagine the creature who lived inside must be pretty big too. Yeah, it must have been it must have been huge, getting up there with a colossal squid. And in fact, this is related to the squid. It would have had tentacles and it would have had jet, jet propulsion, just like modern day squid. This actual fossil was found uh, near Taharoa uh, on the west coast of the North Island. And it was found by Jean Giles in 1977. Uh, Jean drew the attention of this fossil to Geological Survey in those days, and, and they went and got professional quarrymen, and they actually blew it out of the rock using explosives. And in so doing, of course, they actually blew the thing to bits, a whole lot of bits, so it wasn't easy. We think that this was zapped by a volcanic eruption, uh, so it was found associated with volcanic ash, and there were a whole lot of other little organisms, much smaller uh, fossils found with it. These are quite rare, but this is a, uh, a fossil lobster or shrimp, and it's called Mechochiris. We found lots of these associated with it on the same bit of sea floor. They very rarely get this big. This is, this is a real giant. So it's most unusual in that respect. Although there was no escaping the volcanic eruption, the ammonite was an expert at avoiding other dangers. When threatened by a predator, the ammonite would escape by using its own form of jet propulsion. There are a whole lot of chambers in this part of the shell, and from about here on, the animal lived in the last outer world of the shell. These chambers uh, are connected by a tube and the animal can literally pump in gas or pump in water. And of course, if it pumps in gas, it will rise in the ocean. If it pumps in liquid uh, water, it'll sink, just like a submarine. Fossils are the memory banks of our planet and specimens like this giant ammonite provide us with valuable clues to the lives of these prehistoric creatures, the world in which they lived and the history of life.